guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this um, blazer pattern now for this video we're going to be doing only the modification of the pattern because you need to modify your pattern before you can actually draft the blazer so here i've traced out my front and back bodice block if you've not seen that video i'm going to have it linked in the description box so first thing i'm increase i'm extending my center front line downwards and i'm increasing that from the waistline by eight inches down the length of the blazer so this should be the length you want your blazer to be at the center front neckline i'm going downwards one eighth of an inch and at the shoulder i'm going inwards by one eighth of an inch as well and i'm going to connect those points to make my new neckline at the shoulder tip i'm going upwards by quarter of an inch and outwards by a quarter of an inch and at the shoulder tip close to the neck i'm also going upwards by one eighth of an inch and i'm connecting those two points together at the underarm i'm going downwards by a half an inch and outwards by a half an inch and i'm going to connect that down towards the dat so i'm squaring that half an inch down towards the dat legs Once that's done, I'm going to connect those points and draw in my new armhole um, curve. So from my half an inch point to the quarter of an inch, I extended outwards at my shoulder. Now at the hip level, I'm going to put down one quarter of my hip measurement. So if my hip measures um, um, 38 inches I'm adding two inches to that just for ease and I'm putting one quarter of that measurement at the hip line and then I'm going to connect that to the waistline of the blazer to complete the side seam Now once that's done, I'm just going to erase the lines I won't be needing so there's no confusion. For the back pattern, we're doing basically the same thing. So I'm extending my center back um, line downwards and from the waistline, I'm going to extend it by 8 inches. If you want, you could just take your shoulder to the length of your blazer measurement and that's fine. At the underarm, I'm going down half an inch and outwards half, half an inch. At the shoulder tip, I'm going upwards quarter of an inch and outwards by a quarter of an inch as well. Same thing we did for the front. And at the neckline, I'm going upwards by, I'm going inwards one eighth of an inch, going upwards one eighth, and at the center back neckline, I'm going downwards by one eighth of an inch as well. And I'm going to connect those points and then draw in my new shoulder line. At the hem of the blazer, I'm going to square my line towards the side and on that line, I'm going to place one fourth of my hip measurement. So here I'm just taking um, my side seam measurement for the front because I want the back to be the same as the front. You don't want one of your side seams to be longer than the other. So here I'm measuring the excess I added on the waist of the front and I'm adding that also to the back. At the hip line, I'm placing one fourth of my hip measurement and I'm going to connect that line back towards the um, waistline of our blazer. Thank you. 
once that's done i'm going to erase the lines i won't be needing so there's no confusion so here i'm just going to go ahead and check my front um, side seam making sure it matches with the back side seam so once i'm sure that matches i'm going to go in and draw and join my dots at my on my back pattern so here I'm placing one fourth of my um, apex measurement. If you're working with my basic bodies block that I've shown the tutorial on this channel, you just need to do this part, which is extend your waist um, that from the top to the bottom of the pattern. So the waist that at the from the waist down to the hem of the pattern is 4.5 inches. And my dart intake is one inch so I'm placing half an inch on both sides of my dart leg and I'm going to connect that, those points to form my dart Same thing for the front, so I'm extend, extending my dart leg towards the hem of my blazer and from the waistline I'm marking 5 inches downwards and I'm going to connect uh, those points. Now I'm just making sure my dart leg is, my dart intake is 1 inch, same as the back. So I'm going to draw my lines from the top to the bottom of my dart. Once that's done, I'm just going ahead to check my waist measurement. Now, if you take this measurement and you find that your the waist of your blazer is wider than you want it to be, you can go ahead and reduce it at the side seams, on the waistline of the side seam right here. You can reduce it for both the front and the back and redraw your side seam. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend um, the center front by one inch and this will become a buttonhole um, placement or the extension will be a buttonhole extension for the jacket. Now you want to decide where you want your break point to be. It could be at the top or below the waistline but for this sake of this tutorial I'm making it halfway from my bust point to my waistline so this will become my break point for the pattern now from that from my shoulder line I'm going to extend my shoulder line towards the center front and on that line I'm going to mark one inch for my roll line then I'm going to connect that one inch to the break point at the buttonhole extension at the center front of my pattern. Now this will become our roll line. The purpose of this roll line is just to show you where your lapel is going to fold over your jacket. Now at the center front, I'm going downwards by one five eighths of an inch, and at the roll line, I'm also going downwards by five eighths of an inch, and I'm going to connect those points, extending it outwards from the center front and towards the shoulder. This point I marked um, three eighths of an inch from the roll line, and I'm going to square that line towards the neckline and the top of my paper and from my center front i'm marking uh, i'm marking on that line two inches and three quarters that's from the center front two inches and three quarters and i'm going to mark that point and connect that back to my break point and this will be our lapel for the jacket Now you can leave this line straight if you want to, but for the sake of this video or the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to curve it a little. 
at this point feel free to design your lapel however you want it to be or what your design calls for now from the shoulder at the line i extended i'm just going to mark my back neckline so here i have my back pattern and i'm taking the measurement of my back neckline and i'm going to mark that from my shoulder upwards on that line my back neckline plus one eighth of an inch now from that point i'm going to mark backward outwards three quarters of an inch and connect that back to my shoulder line with a curved ruler now i'm just making sure that that curve marks um, my um, back neckline measurement which is three inches and a quarter and from that point i'm going to square a line towards the top of my paper and i'm going to mark on that line two inches and three quarters And at the shoulder line, I'm also marking two inches and three quarters, and I'm going to use my curved ruler to connect that point. Now at my lapel line, I'm marking from my center front three quarters of an inch, and from my lapel opening, I'm marking upwards one inch. And I'm going to draw from my three quarters of an inch towards my one inch. And from that point, I'm going to mark one inch and half to complete the, to complete my um, collar piece. And then I'm going to join those points together. Now here also, feel free to design your collar however you want it to be. It doesn't have to take the shape that I'm going with. Feel free to design it or style it however you want it to look. Now once you're done, this top piece will become a collar piece. and But to complete that, I'm going to mark my one inch from my neckline towards um, the roll line in on the shoulder of my paper now again this roll line is just a guideline to help you know where your lap your collar is going to fold over the jacket once that's done i went ahead to mark my notches at my where my collar meets my lapel and also my shoulder line and I'm just going ahead to erase the lines I don't need so there's no confusion. And this will become a collar piece. And then the rest of the bodies of the jacket will become a jacket piece. Now to work on the facing, mark, measure two inches and half or three inches from the neckline of your pattern here I made a mistake and marked from my roll line and at my waistline I'm measuring 2.5 inches from my center front line towards the side seam and at the hemline also I marked 2.5 inches and I'm just using my ruler to connect those points from the hem of the jacket towards the shoulder and once that's done, this whole piece becomes the facing of our jacket. Now moving on to the back jacket, all we need to do is just mark our facing for, create our facing for the back jacket. So here I'm just going ahead to fold in my dad so it's out of the way. And then I'm going to mark from the neckline of the shoulder towards the armhole by um, mark 3 inches and at my center back I'm going to mark 2.5 inches downwards from the neckline and I'm going to use my curved ruler to connect those points.
Now to complete the jacket, I'm just marking my hem, which is 1.5 inches from the length of the jacket. So I'm marking my 1.5 inch hem and then I'm extending my side seam down the hem of the jacket. And I'm also extending my facing line also by um, a half an inch. Now at this point you can decide how you want the front of your jacket to be if you want it curved or straight. For the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to leave it straight. So I'm completing my hemline towards the um, buttonhole extension. And for the facing of the jacket, I'm going to be making my hem at the facing just a half an inch. So once that's done, you can go ahead and trace out your facing piece and your jacket piece. If you want to add lining to it, you can trace out the other side of the pattern, the side front of the pattern and add a half an inch allowance for the lining. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the back, mark my 1.5 inch hem allowance and then connect that to the side seam. And then also if you want to add um, lining for your back pattern, you just need to trace out from the facing piece here down to the hem of the jacket and add about a half an inch for your hem allowance for the back piece and also mark your notches from the facing. At the collar edge of my collar piece, I've marked um, inwards one eighth of an inch and I'm going to trace from this point for the under color of my pattern piece. I've traced out my facing piece with my half an inch seam al hem allowance and I've also marked my roll line. Like I said, the roll line helps you know where your lapel folds over on the jacket. So I've marked my roll line. I like to mark all this in place so I know where what I'm doing. And I've indicated cut two of the facing. Here I have my jacket piece. I've also marked my roll line and my button placement. And I'm going to be cutting two of my jacket pieces. Now, if you don't want to sew the dots at the bust line, you can go ahead and add a princess seam going down the dots, uh, down the waistline dots, and then connect it to the bust dots and close slash and close the bust that so it opens at the princess seam. I also went ahead and marked my notches where my collar sits in my lapel and these are my front pattern pieces. Now for the collar I have two pattern pieces for the collar. I have the upper collar and also the under collar. Now the difference is the under collar has a seam at the center back um, line and I've reduced it along the collar edge here by one eighth of an inch. This way it just helps the collar sit on the under collar sit underneath the upper collar of the jacket. I hope you understand all the color color I've just said. So I went all ahead also to mark my notches at my shoulder line and also my notch where my collar sits into my lapel for both the upper collar and the under collar. And these are all my pattern pieces for the front. Also for the back, I've gone ahead and traced out my um, facing piece for the back without the dots. And my center back is going to be placed on fold and I've added my same allowance along the neckline, the shoulder and the other side. And also the center back of my main pattern piece will be placed on fold. I added my seam allowances and my hem allowances. Now these are all the pattern pieces you'll be needing to create your blazer jacket. 
I hope this tutorial was easy for you to follow. If you like it, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share with your sewing community if you think it was that interesting. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.